This Sea Fury is doing accelerator tests at the Royal Aircraft Establishment during October 1946. The first sea trials were in HMS Ocean in 1945. It started life as specification N7-43 and was a Hawker Fury adapted for naval use. We saw the Sea Fury doing its preliminary tests at the RAE in October 1946. These sea trials are taking place in Illustrious during the year 1949. The Sea Fury 10 was fully navalized with its Bristol Centaurus engine, had a speed of over 450 miles per hour at 20,000 feet. It was incidentally the last piston engine machine produced for the fleet air arm. These machines were a Hawker product replacing the Sea Fire and stayed in service till 1954. You see, a carrier takeoff is a comparatively simple thing. It is the deck landing that must be practiced continuously, because however successful a bombing trip may have been, a crash on return is as valuable to the enemy as being shot down. A perfect touchdown. Handlers rush out to disengage the hook from the arrest of wire, and the aircraft is cleared for it to make way for the next landing. Slick teamwork by the naval airmen, including the hookman and this marshalling director, are as important in flight deck work as the pilot's skill in flying at exactly the right attitude, the right speed, and the right height. The next important drill is the catapulting of aircraft. Heavy bomb loads in Korea necessitate this form of takeoff every time. Gradually the number of deck landings mounts up, and since practice makes perfect, it is easy to see how these Korean carriers have several times completed over a thousand consecutive landings without a deck accident. And so it goes on. The next aircraft are briefed to carry out rocket and bomb attacks against the target towed astern of the ship. Up on the flight deck, the planes are made ready, spotty, for takeoff. Zero hour approaching, the air crews pin out the remaining minutes. Stand by, start up. Twenty thousand horsepower set the very deck a quiver as the great ship alters course and turns into the Mediterranean wind. Twenty-five, twenty-seven hundred red. Two 
stood on the batsman, levelling wings poised for the touchdown. Watch that hook catch the arrest a while. Unhooked, the planes taxi forward. Now the aircraft directors take over, passing the planes from one to another. Right up to the very edge of the bows, safely parked, engine cut. 